wearing memory descent and downs, one step is left for the semi-finals. And how are you getting ready for it? Here I am, Yom Nahatwa, through Al Ahli Online TV English News Lens, getting you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli secure an important 2 to 0 win at home over St. Downs. Musimani, I want to add the 10th star to the club's badge. Ishinawi, we know the importance of this game. Al Ahli file official complaint to CAF over referee's performance in St. Downs' game. Al Ahli volleyball ladies celebrate league title in style. Al Ahli achieved a 2 0 victory over South Africa's Mamelodi St. Downs in the first leg of CAF Champions League quarter final at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. Tahir Muhammad Tahir and Salah Mohsen scored our goals in the game, giving us a significant advantage ahead of the second leg in South Africa. The VAR was much needed in the game, which so many controversial decisions against the home team. Petsu Musimani Al Ahli's manager spoke in the pre match press conference of Al Ahli's game against Memelodi and Downs in the second leg of CAF Champions League quarter finals. You come here with a hope to qualify to the semis. Winning 2 to 0 in the first leg is a slight advantage, but it doesn't mean that we qualify. Sundowns played a good game, and it's time to be focused to deliver the team to the semi finals. He continued saying that he took the responsibility for coaching the club when there were eight stars and made a small contribution to add the ninth. He now wants to add the tenth star to the club's badge. He added that the club's president, Al Khatib, is one of the most respectable people in Egypt. He is a football legend and he has a lot of success at Al Ahli. Why did you take the risk? Why didn't you coach at South Africa? Musimani's family asked him, but he said that he preferred to go to a colder environment. That's where the eagle stays, and that's the character of the eagles. Mohamed Shinawi, Al Ahli's goalkeeper and captain, weighed in on Al Ahli's upcoming encounter against Memelodi St. Downs. This is our third time here, and we know the importance of this game. Hopefully, we qualify to the semis like we did last year. Big players have a role in such a phase. Thankfully, in the last match in Cairo, we did a great job. However, we know that this match won't be easy for us. Coach Musimani has been with us for eight months. When we used to play against St. Downs, we were fully aware of his abilities. We are happy to train with him. He's very close to us and he knows the system inside the club and he has the final decision. Al Ahli filed an official complaint to the Confederation of African Football CAF over the performance of the Senegalese referee Magnet Dindiai, who was in charge of our game against Memelodi and Downs in the first leg of the CAF Champions League quarter finals after committing several mistakes which affected the game's result. The club mentioned that the Senegalese referee denied Al Ahli a rightful penalty after the opponent's goalkeeper committed a clear foul against Sharif inside the penalty area. Furthermore, the club added that the referee did not provide enough protection for our player during the match and that they were exposed to harsh tackles from a melodious and downs player. However, the opponent's players received only one yellow card during the game, while the Senegalese referee showed three yellow cards to Al Ahli players. Al Ahli women's volleyball team celebrated the Egyptian league title in style after defeating shooting club 3-1 on Sunday in the final fixture of the season. Our ladies maintained their winning streak and finished the campaign with 22 victories out of 22 games. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.